Okay, I'm plugged in. The battery dies on this thing so qu quickly. I think it happened last time. So, oh, I got this cool plastic bag holder. It actually is stuck in there with adhesive. I didn't think it would work. It's um, by Simple Human. So it works really well. It's stuck on there, and I was surprised how great it worked. It worked. So, um, over here, I haven't organized these cabinets yet. Any cabinets, closets, I basically have just thrown stuff in. Haven't figured out how to organize it. So I have my soap, laundry detergent, cleaning supplies, tons of bags. Over here is like all the stuff that I don't know what to do with. So I just put it in there. I don't know where this goes. I'll just throw it in here. I don't know. Probably get rid of that and the other thing, and I don't know. It just goes in there. And I'll figure it out later. <laughs> oh, that's the other tablecloth we got. So, that's the laundry room. It's really convenient having it right here by the kitchen because I can, if I have dirty towels or something, I just go over here and throw it in the washing machine. It's really nice. Okay, so here's the kitchen, how I organized a little bit. This is the thing that Daniel throws all his stuff in. Whatever's in his pocket gets thrown in there and that's convenient for him. Got this cool toaster. It was only 20 bucks. Cuisinart's good brand. It's nice. It's compact. Doesn't take up much space, so I don't have that much um, counter space, so I definitely wanted that. Um, oh, I organized my spices here. I'm all happy about this. These are OXO turntables. I love these. They're great. I had to get the smallest size, nine and a half inches, um, in order to fit in here. They make a lot bigger ones, but I really like spices, so I tend to buy spices to try out. And I like these glass containers, and I think I'll buy in bulk later on and just fill them up because I really like the size. I don't like having these big bulky spices. Like when I cook, I bring all these spices down, and having the big containers just takes up space and is annoying. But um, so these are like my most commonly used items. I just got this thing. I have no clue if that works. There were mixed reviews. Some people hated it. Some people loved it. But I thought I would try it since the regular spray oils you buy are really crap and horrible for you. But this you can just put just great olive oil in it and it's supposed to spray. So we'll see if that works. Um, I do not have a pantry. So I just have all my dry goods stuff thrown up here. And I really love using these jars. I found some of these at Kroger on sale, and they're just nice, simple glass jars. I like putting stuff in them. They look cool, sort of antique -y. And, okay, so that's this cabinet. Oh, and the stuff is, um, this cabinet is so high. I did get a little bench, like a folding bench that I put in the laundry room that, that helps out with that, so. Um. Oh, down here, I have extended my pantry items since I don't have a pantry. Just have a few items in here, potatoes. Um, have my slow cooker and some bigger pans, my juicer, and stuff down there. So I don't go in that, that cabinet very often. Up here is also more stuff that I don't know what to do with, so I just put it up there. Pictures, I've used that one picture, but... These other things I don't really use yet. I put that way up there because it's sharp and I didn't want Eva to get it. So that's way up high. I can't reach anything there. Daniel has to get it. Here are mostly the most used plates and stuff. Most of them are in the dishwasher, so they're not here. Usually I have this stacked up and then there's smaller plates. And Daniel's mom gave us these really pretty lemon plates. They're like, some of them are yellow and some of them have this pretty lemon on them. So they're really pretty. I like them. So we got big ones and smaller ones that are on the dishwasher right now. And then I have more pots up there, my French press and uh, mugs and stuff. So that's what happened here. Oh, I forgot to show you this drawer here. I really like how I organized this one. This worked out well. Um, I really like OXO utensils. They're just really high quality and they look nice. This is the most awesome can opener ever. This is very cool. 
It's very big and it looks strange. It's by Kuhn Rakan, but it opens the can on the outside of the can. So it, it's not sharp and it sort of makes the lid um, fit back on the can if you wanted to do that. But I liked how these fit in there perfectly. And I stuck some putty here to try to make the tray stay because when you close the the drawer, the tray flies back and it's very annoying. But it's not quite working. I don't know if I need to add more or something. But anyway, I like that. It's not too crowded. Everything's organized. So here is my um, utensil, regular utensils. Most of them are in the dishwasher. Again, I have Eva's and spoons and knives and these are random things bags and and all that so I like these metal dividers I can't remember the brand but they were really cheap they're like five dollars or something but they work really well I like how they are better than the plastic ones um oops I keep hitting this I forgot that I had this drawer here and then the other day I was like, oh yeah, I have this here, I forgot. <laughs> so we have some, put some pans in there. And all of a sudden I had more space. Wow, I totally forgot about that that was down there. This oven is, and stove is very nice. The microwave, I've only used it like once, so I don't, I don't use the microwave that much. Um, but it is really nice, it looks nice. And... This tray sort of like moves back and forth and this way it's sort of weird. It's not like the normal round one, but it's cool. Um, let me move my plug over here. These knives were given to me and they're really cheap knives, like made in China, but they're really sharp. Like I used this huge one on some meat and it was just cut it like it was butter. It was amazing. It must be because they're new. There's a sharpener here, so maybe they'll work out all right. Down here, I have my mixer and just some more pans. I don't have too many pans, so just put them there. This meat thing I just discovered, um, if you pound your chicken, chicken breast or whatever, it makes them nice and um, not as hard. Like if you freeze the meat, it usually gets dry and whatever so that helps with tenderizing it is the word I'm thinking of okay on this side we have this dishwasher I love the dishwasher it is so quiet I don't even know that it's running it's amazing and um, here's my Vitamix I love that that's amazing I've been making smoothies in the morning I brought some plants over from our last place and they're not doing very well I've already had two branches fall off this jade tree and the aloe is sort of like dying I don't know what's going on <laughs> it's very strange it's like they I don't know they didn't like moving or something um let's see mm -hmm. this is my tea kettle I use this like multiple times a day I love how quickly it warms up the water keep my fruit here garlic um let's see Here's my tea drawer, I'm obsessed with tea, my vitamins, my thyroid pill, so I have lots of tea in here, napkins, so this is where I go in the morning, I come over to the side and make some tea, take my vitamins or whatever, so that's all there. Here's all our towels, nothing special. Um, I tried to go with yellow because we have those yellow plates, so I bought those yellow towels to match so that worked out well um, this is Eva's drawer so everything's just thrown in there she comes in here gets stuff decides what bib she wants to wear <laughs> so that's just like everything's thrown in there here is some storage items I use mostly glass I use all glass except for that one thing is plastic for sandwiches but I like using mason jars and then these are just like lunch um, sealed things but most of them are in the dishwasher too so these yeah these are the blue ones I found at Kroger and they're cute they're like tinted blue 
under here, I have my salad spinner. These scrubby things, I like never use. I don't know why I even bought them. I only use this little tiny scrub thing. Just like nothing works better than that. I don't know. Just like one dollar for that thing. <laughs> it works better than any of these more fancy things. I have cutting boards here. I tried to not put anything sharp or dangerous on the lower cabinet so that if Eva got into everything, it would be just fine. I have this small colander and colander and I really haven't needed anything bigger because the pans that I have have a strainer in them, so that's been fine for just fruit or whatever. That's fine there. And can okay, we grab my oh I have to show you the fridge. Let's look at the fridge. I love my this fridge and in the last tour I remember saying that Eva could not open the fridge and I was so happy, but now she can open the fridge. She has figured it out. I don't know. She became stronger. She realized how to pull it and now she can open it. So it's, the doors are really heavy. So she f pulls the door open, pour the doors open, they fly open, like hit the wall and it drives me crazy. I'm always like, stop, slow down. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is the fridge. It's really full now. Um, compared to last time, we love eggs. Eva eats like multiple eggs a day. And leftovers here, salads. These are, I'm gonna try this, a new pizza recipe made with seeds and um, buckwheat flour, which is like gluten free, so I'm gonna try that. Oh, this is tonight's dinner. This is chicken marbella, which I got the recipe out of. This book over here that I'll show you in a minute. Um, it smells really good. It has olives and prunes and, and um, other spices. Di it's different and honey, so it should be sweet. All of our cheese. This is the most amazing cheese ever. I have never had this Parmigiano Reggiano because it's always really expensive, but we tried it. I usually just get regular Parmesan and it is amazing. And I have some more supplements and stuff here. And yep, that's all. Close this. And our freezer's down here, which is very cool. So I try to organize, like I have all my smoothie stuff over here, except for this garlic. <laughs> um, I have berries and bananas, frozen bananas, always in smoothies. Over here I have meat, and then I threw like frozen veggies on top. Random spinach here, bread, chicken broth, ice. Yep, so this is Eva's boo boo pack. So when she gets a boo boo, she runs over and gets this and puts it on her boo boo. So she likes that. <laughs> it's cute, that's from her grandma. Ah, oh, this is heavy. Okay, I'm gonna move my plug here. I just vacuumed, so I thought I better do this door now because it looks all clean. I need to plug in again. Plug here. Okay. Oh, this is the recipe book I've been going through, and I really like it. Um, because I'm trying to eat high protein, low carb, like low grains and stuff. So this is a grain free cookbook. So I've um. That's where that chicken marbella recipe came out of. So I'm excited to try that. I made, I've made this chicken, the lemon chicken, and that's amazing. It's very simple, um, but it's really good. So I'm gonna go through that whole book probably and cook a whole bunch of stuff. So here's a painting from um, my husband's family from Bulgaria. It's really pretty. They gave us all the paintings in the house. This is amazing how many paintings they gave us. They're beautiful, I don't know much about art and I definitely have never bought an art piece um, like a real one so I'm very happy and thankful they're so generous. Here's our beautiful table. I really love this table. It always has a tablecloth on it because I'm just afraid he was gonna jam or fork into it or something. Um, it's in the, it's extended to the largest size. You can take out this middle portion but we've been having people over, friends, I had friends over 
last week and then my parents are coming over tomorrow so we've just been leaving it um, long and it's okay it's um, we have a lot of space in here so it's fine I was frustrated by having carpet because we don't have a dining room it's just like here next to the kitchen there's the lamp the light there and at this table um, but it hasn't been that bad Eva, Eva hasn't thrown anything on the floor that's stained I just vacuum every once in a while and it's fine. She gets crumbs on the floor. She usually sits down there or sometimes she randomly wants to sit over here. Um, but I have her little chair sitting there and she I put a blanket underneath it just to catch extra crumbs. But she's fine. I, I had a carpet, a um, rug underneath there, but it was so annoying. I kept tripping over it and it was ugly. So I just took it off and it's been fine. So. Not too much to worry about with that. She hasn't thrown anything like grape juice or anything on the floor. Here's her toys. Here is um, a cool shelf that we got. I need to move my plug again. Ugh. So, let me go over here and plug it in. Here. Um, this is basically Eva's toys. And then the only books I have here are cookbooks and some like music books. I have a, a hymnal to sing hymns and other educational stuff with Eva. So we sort of, and I have my Bible there and her, her instruments, um, a few pictures randomly. So it's not that full, but I like this piece. It's nice. It's really big and I liked having just one big piece, not like several smaller ones. This toolbox needs to go somewhere, probably out on the porch in the shed, or the, the shed, yeah, the closet or whatever the heck you call that thing out there. Um, so here's another painting that they gave us, Daniel's family, this one, and then Scan around here to this one. These are both in Spain. So they're very pretty. And they're big, nice big paintings, so we put them out here. This is Eva's little 